It's apple harvest season. Some orchards are already welcoming visitors to come eat, pick, and buy the product of their labor. Well, two of some of the most well known orchards near Sioux Falls are different, but both are family owned and operated. In tonight's Eye on Kelloland, we head out to these fall destinations to find out what it takes to grow success on trees. It's the tale of two orchards, one near Harrisburg, the other outside of Brandon. Hoverston Apple Orchard, just northeast of Sioux Falls, was purchased by David Hoverston 30 years ago. Back then, the land was growing corn. Hoverston, an orthopedic surgeon, thought this was a fun way for his family to get back to their roots. Well, I was born a farm kid. My granddad had an orchard, and so I remembered the apples of my granddad's place. Across the county, just outside of Harrisburg, is Country Apple Orchard. Kevin Kroger's grandparents bought the orchard 14 years back, and it's been a family operation ever since. It's also been quite an adventure. The first weekend it was open, someone left the gate open for the petting zoo. Every single animal was all over the grounds, and I was by myself trying to figure out how to get them in. Thankfully, they all came back. Loose animals aren't the only struggles these farmers face. Apples aren't an easy crop to rely on. We have apple scale, we have scab. The apples are very finicky and they get diseases so easy and so controlling them is a difficult part. It's also not cheap. Big equipment like this costs tens of thousands of dollars. And just like other farmers, the weather can make or break a whole year. The difference here is the rain has been very good for these growers. In fact, Hoverston says they're already a week ahead of schedule. If you're late, you know, everything shuts down here the first November. So the more we have apples ready, then the quicker we can supply them to customers and the better a year we have. Looks good. Looks really, um, really well. The pumpkins are, are growing well. The apples seem to be not having a bunch of um, insects, any problems like that. So, pretty happy so far. After decades of bushel business, these orchard families have some advice. What do you think is the secret to keeping it successful all these years? Keeping it fun, I think. Making it, making it feel like, um, you know, as a family, what's our family, trying to help another family out, not trying to be a big business. Remember who's the boss, and that's the wife. <laughs> good advice. <laughs> <laughs> Hoverston Apple Orchard is now open. Country Apple Orchard will have a soft open Labor Day weekend this weekend. Just go to this story at kelloland.com for hours and directions to both locations. And I bet they had a pretty good year with all the rain that we've had. And they had both men said it was looking promising. Lots of good. Who says money doesn't grow on trees, right? right? It does, and it's tasty. <laughs>